everybody, Rick Needham, handicapping thoroughbred racing from Santa Anita Park on Friday afternoon, January the 11th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle, Southern California race of the day. Let's take a look at race four this afternoon, folks. 2.35 p.m. Pacific post time. Six and a half furlong sprint on Santa Anita's dirt track. Phillies and mares, four years old and up race for a claiming prize of some $32,000. Contenders number one, Roar, Baby Roar. Number six, Hout Bay. Number nine, Your Special Day. And number two, Siempre Esperanza. Number one, Roar Baby Roar, the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at her about today's distance of six and a half furlongs on the dirt. Also has excellent early speed abilities to complement for this sprint. She's taking a six-level Trackmaster class drop. It's produced power run performances in each of her last five outings, hitting the board in the pair, including a power run win facing better company in her fourth race back. Jockey Rafael Dejerano and trainer Jerry Hollendorfer send her to the post. They fit the board with 57% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number six, Hout Bay comes off power run efforts in four straight, hitting the board in three, including a power run win her last time out. Race four summary, number one, Roar, Baby Roar, tops my contenders list this afternoon here at Santa Anita, which also includes number six, Hout Bay, number nine, Your Special Day, and number two, Siempre Esperanza. 1692 in the fourth from Santa Anita Park. Bonus long shots, Delta Downs, race two, entry number four, Wildcat Slew. Five to one on the morning line, the overall speed leader in this claiming field tonight, sprinting at her about five furlongs on the dirt. Turf Paradise, race seven, entry number 10, Gallant Victory, a five to one shot, takes a six level Trackmaster class drop. Good speed for this mile test on Turf Paradise dirt course. So from Santa Anita on a Friday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.